Note to Self, Part 2. I'm learning that perseverance is more about commitment and less about motivation. Motivation is defined as the reason one initiates, continues, or terminates a behavior as given time. To put it simply, motivation is an impulse or willpower that inspires us to take action. The dilemma with motivation is that it is willpower and willpower is limited. Impulses grow weak. I've experienced this countless times with various projects in the past. I will start something with high enthusiasm, but once there are challenges, difficulties, or to be honest, the novelty of that thing fades, then I move on to something else and sometimes, sadly, something new and begin the same cycle again. But commitment is different. When you commit, you you immerse yourself into obligation. You are binding yourself physically, emotionally, and intellectually to a promise or a covenant. When you commit to your family or a task or whatever, it means you are following a plan even if you do not feel like it that day. Commitment means fulfilling your obligations and carrying out what has been entrusted to you or what you have put your mind to do. In order for me to persevere, which means keep going despite difficulty or delay, I have to first commit. But what's the best way to create commitment? I believe it's best that we ask ourselves a series of questions beginning with, how bad do I want it? The question like that opens up the mind to explore how important something is to you and if you really want to achieve it. And then the next question we can ask ourselves is, what do we need within this commitment? This question reminds me of Jesus' words in Luke chapter 14, verses 28 through 30, when he says, For which of you, desiring to build a tower, does not first sit down, count the cost, whether he has enough to complete it? Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation, is not able to finish, all who see it will begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. End quote. Counting the costs, a.k.a. understanding what is required for you to be successful, can be as long or short of a list that you want. But it must contain two types of categories. Your need-to-haves, which is all of the critical needs, like if you're learning how to cook, you need a recipe and a few pieces of equipment and tools. Another list will be your like-to-haves. And the things on this list are things that are simply desired. If you're learning how to cook, you don't need an apron, but it's nice. Yeah, it's just that. It's things that you would like to have. It is not the essential things you need to be successful. Last but not least, in order to persevere through commitments, it's important to also recognize your potential hurdles and struggles so that you may devise a plan to persevere in spite of them. So what are your potential hurdles? pitfalls, and barriers? What type of things can come up? Do you need things to be quiet? Does the dishes need to be clean? Do you need to take out all your tools? Things like that. That's if we were talking about a cooking analogy. What would be the best time for you to learn? You wouldn't put that that recipe making time on a day that's stressful. 
you will probably switch out your TV binging time for recipe binging time (laughs) so that you adequately prepare and can practice. I say all of this to reiterate that if you don't have commitment, you will not persevere. They always have and always will go hand in hand. Peter Drucker said this amazing quote. He said, unless commitment is made, there are only promises and hope, but no plan. I personally believe that. For myself, I really would like to believe and to be remembered and known as someone who perseveres. That no matter what challenges may come my way, what hurdles and sometimes barriers and distractions, that I stay committed to the goals that are set before me. Being a homemaker is not easy. And I don't know where this notion comes from that staying home to nourish your family is something that you could just do in your sleep. It's not. It's for the women who are intelligent. The women who decide that they will use their mental capacity and their resources and their knowledge to bring up a successful family, an amazing household. And this isn't only limited to women, to be homemakers, husbands. It takes a lot to do that too. But within all of these jobs, Perseverance is necessary to not give up, to create plans, to think things through, to know what is required. You can take that to the bank. I believe God is calling us to remember that we can do hard things. Everything doesn't have to be simple, easy, all the time. That just because it doesn't feel good at the moment doesn't mean it's not for our good. That some things and all great things comes with work Work that requires commitment. If you're a parent, commit. And not commit halfway, commit all the way. If you are a spouse, commit. Don't commit halfway. Don't commit based on what your spouse does. Commit completely for yourself. If you are creating a, um, a project or have an assignment or, or are just learning a different skill or task, learn to discipline yourself to commitment. You can do hard things. It's nothing wrong with settling in on that notion. Taking breaks when needed, but coming back. Devising plans, learning what works. How much do you want it? 
How much do you want it? Are you going to choose motivation or commitment?